it's definitely uh, worth it to us because you know our yields are realistic, our prices are realistic, our land lease is realistic, our interest on our loans realistic. Yeah, might as well figure out yields because most farmers with loans and banks want to know, hey, what do you get for yield on this? And what do you get for yield on that? And, uh, you know, if we get all of our acres, our land, and we figure out what our average yield is per crop, and we can kind of predict how much revenue we're going to have, and, you know, we'll be able to decide how much we have to take out for loans if we want to make another purchase versus how much we can really expect. So it's good data to have. And, um, we could definitely save save on uh, running over our crops with the sprayer if we can front load it, you know? Yeah. So this should be almost, I would think would be pretty close to ideal. This will be good. At least it gives us an idea. Hey, this many. Well, and then if we figure out acres, then we know for calculating how much if we want, say 700,000, we know how many total acres we have to have for that crop. Yeah, we know how much, how many acres we need to plant. So. Yeah. You know, if we can only do so many liters our trucking you know we can only plant so many acres so we don't like exceed our ability to yeah well with two trucks corn should be right in the amount we need well it's three trucks really definitely do it but barely Are you gonna drive right across the road with your cart to figure out the moisture? <laughs> I'm empty. Definitely gives it a more instead of just, hey, let's do this, this, and this. I kind of think we'll enjoy this a little bit, keeping track of yields. Yeah. It's always good to know that info, though. Like, Well, yeah, because nobody's ever, they just give you a guesstimate of, like, okay, if you're off by this much on PK, it's going to affect your field by this. But it'd be kind of nice to see. Exactly. Oh, hey, you're going to be, say, if you're off one between the end, right, the moisture, right, and you're off 5,000 liter in the whole field, okay, that ain't that much. Yeah. But if you're off... Is it is it worth driving the sprayer in the field to... Yeah, get the extra little pieces of it. Mike's going to be like... Jesus, you guys just took this to a whole new level. Well, we are already kind of doing it. And now we're just actually recording it. You know? Yep. 
I wonder how many other people are going to start doing this now that we talked about it on a video. But um, we should really figure out, too, like our uh, running cut. Like, how much does it really cost us to put the crop in per acre? You know, what are, what's our actual expense? So what you're thinking is like mark down the liters of fuel on the tractor before you start the field and then the liters on after you're done. Well, the thing is, we don't really go through that much fuel. No, you just want to calculate seed and... I, I think we should calculate the seed in every... Um, yeah, but the only, we're bad spraying. About, the only bad thing about the seed though is if you do spread a field... You need to run the seeder, well, either to keep track of when you start refilling the seeder, or run it all the way down to zero, then refill it, so that way we know how many liters we actually used. Because that could get pretty confusing if one guy, say, refills it at 3,000 because he's done with the field, well, how many liters did well, we actually use? Well, we could use Excel because we know the price... Like, course play could do this. If I were to go in single player one of these days and, like, figure out what's the price. Uh, first of all, what's the actual size of the field? We need to know yep. that. And then, once we know the price, uh, the you usage, like, a, like, how yeah, many acres like per a... seed or seed per acre, we could just have Excel do it. And then we could, like, figure out you know, we don't really need to know, but we know, like, okay, so the game does X amount of liters per acre for this crop, for yeah. this crop, for this crop, and then we see, okay, we planted soybeans, so in this field, we know the acres, we know how much seed goes in per acre, so we can figure out how much seed yeah. we used and the cost of that seed, and then we'd be able to figure out, okay, what did we use to spray this year? What was our, our spray you know, prescription for this season. How many liters of NPK did we put down? How many liters of lime? You yep. know? That'd be good, too, because, say, all of a sudden, beans become less profitable. Yeah, because, I mean, that's actually going to happen because we get less from the chopped straw from beans yep. than we do corn. So, at one point, you need to really figure out well, and yeah, seed, I think seed beans, well, if in real life, beans take more seed than corn does. Yeah. And I mean, I know beet seed, beets go through quite a bit of seed, but you also gotta look at the tonnage you get out of beets. But you know, if you're running, if you're running, um, soybeans, and soybeans are like oily or something, and you... You start getting behind on nitrogen or PK, and you gotta come in and apply PK versus your corn. You're putting in less nutrients to run your corn. Yeah. You I'll know you're saving that. yourself probably ten, fifteen thousand applications. Yeah. So you don't need uh, as much yield then. To That's almost where like you run a season of beans and wheat on it, and or beans and barley, and then you switch to running it on corn, just like a crop yeah. rotation. You know, but then you think of it, if you were to do a rotation every year and you put down an application, you might actually be high in your nutrients versus you might be a point low if you do nothing but a point high if you do something. Yep. So maybe it's more beneficial to run it two seasons and then do a rotation. So. There's a lot Mike's of things we don't really know, you know? You need to speed up more either. Well, it's not matching your speed. That's the thing. Oh, I don't know. I haven't got it like 8 3. Mine's bouncing pretty bad. I'll just set it down to 7. I had it at 11. I was doing that speed control and it, it was, you know, the double green arrow thing and it wouldn't, uh... Well, because I think on that one, like, if the combine, like, say, in the server, 
like the speed, my speed thing will glitch every so often, so I wonder if it glitches down to zero, you oh. could shut your tractor. We've just been running it at seven. Kind of make a quick work of this. Mike said he'd be on around nine, so. I'll check my phone, see if anybody commented on those photos on Facebook. Well, uh, if he gets on, maybe I can get off and then go on single player and figure this shit out. Would probably be the best idea while we're doing me. Because, I mean, we don't really have enough for two guys. And I don't feel like renting another Draper, you know? No, it works just fine with two. Mike likes running cards. This Kinsey's working pretty good. It's so much better than the old one. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's shocking how much better it is. Than the I gotta figure out what mod in my game has been input binding. Um, is it Raphael the Prince? It's either the Brent, the or 1050. Is it, is it Abel Jetco? Because my. <laughs> My Wilson's run off N2 for the tarp. Um, the or thing maybe I just need to go change my input binding to something different. I think that's what I'm going to do. Go and change my input binding for N to, for open tarp to like, comma. Well, the thing is, this is scripted as cover, and the only other one I know is the Brent. Yeah, but my Wilsons do it too, as and everything in my mod is N for cover. Oh. I don't even think your Wilsons are, oh, I think if I use it, it's N. I should hop it. Yeah, it's N because I, that's what I use to open them on the way over. Well, the, the difference is one of them uses the in-game script and the, the uh, this Kinsey uses an animation, LUA. Oh. So Mike's going to be getting on in like an hour then? Yeah, he said about 9 o'clock. He was thinking. Yeah, because it's almost 9 here. You guys are an hour behind. Yeah. I gotta admit, that blue looks pretty good with that blue behind it, but I think Kitty I wasn't good. sure if it was... Is it too light of a blue on the Kinsey? Or is it... Uh, it's so-so. I think your blue on your tractor is a little bit darker. Yeah. I mean, just a touch darker isn't bad, but I like it the way it is. It really pops. Because I used the color picker off of the Kinsey brochure. Oh. Oh, I'm just fine with the color. I think it looks good. So it should be... It's not like John Deere or Case that have like a color spot. Like you can just... With the actual color that you can just... Pick from, you know? Yeah. And then like some images it looks really dark based on the lighting. and Some in images it looks lighter, so... I went with what I thought was the most accurate. It could be maybe like 10% darker, maybe. But I was talking to Josh, and Josh said it was pretty much spot on, so. It looks good. I think the New, the New Holland blue is pretty good. Oh, yeah. I found open hood, so I wonder if that's the open cover. Let me know when we get to the other side of the field. Open, close, cover. 
There we go. That's better. Open close cover. Yeah, for the hood. I don't even have the thing in this mod description that not the I have it in my controls. I went into my control settings, I opened up another game and went into controls. And I found open closed cover. It was set as in, so I wondered what my I should go through and see what semi trailers are in and what semi trailers are old. I think Raphael rents run off the end. Yeah, the default the default in-game cover is N. Okay, I and I scripted my card as Z for the cover. Oh. But I I'll use probably. animation. I use an the animation script, so. I'm probably gonna take uh, the Brents out and then take the 1050 out because I really don't use them anymore now that I have the Kindle. I mean, I can change it from cover to like tarp or something, and then I wouldn't interfere. It's up to you. I don't. I'll go take the cut. I got it down. I'll decrease my folder size. We don't ever use the prints anyways. I mean, yeah, I took I took the 1050 out of the server. I'll probably take it. I like that trailer. Be a good rental trailer. I do like the black, black trailer. That was very simple. Yeah, I think I think Raphael did a really good job on the Wilsons. That's why I use it all the time. So. Yep. Yeah, I'll go take those out. Then. So, yeah. You might have. Cause I know I had to have added Raphael's case to the, or his three, 340 with the IC, it was different than yours. Uh, it was still on it. Magnum? Yeah, it was using the space bar. I get this one knocked out pretty quick. <laughs> well, we got a full truck out of this one, so. So we might get full truck and part of one. We might get. Uh, I still have 1,200 in the cart, so. Yeah, we got a little bit left. I don't know if we'll have two full ones, but we might be close. Probably get 70. Be Eight, close. 80,000 liters. Yeah, not bad. Beans got a higher price than corn. It's got a double the price, more than double the price, like price, but it's also expensive seed. Yeah, uh, just like real life. But I mean, the seed usage is pretty close. I think I think you put down as much seed as you do corn. But I mean, it doesn't really cost much to put the, the seed in the ground. It's like, what, 5,000 or something to plant this field? 